Cowan's there now, directing Tony Woodcock to go closer. There has to be a time limit on that. You know, there's 10 seconds there where you know, the ball was... I think it was out. New Zealand straight to the ground. Penalty to Wales. Was it Naomi Tialata? Well, we'll see. Does he stay on his feet? Uh, well, he doesn't end up on his feet. Once again, Stephen Jones pushes Wales up to this midway point between the 10-metre line and the 22. It's a good place to attack from set-piece. Again, though, but if you watch the attacks from Wales, watch the breakdowns, because New Zealand are committing as few players as possible to them, and the rest are going and fanning out across the field. And there are gaps right close to the edges now. Someone has to identify that or communicate it. Wales, in contrast to New Zealand, pack the line out. It's a risky throw to the tail. Once again, Ryan Jones claims it. Martin Williams takes the pass from the captain. Now the presentation to the three quarters. Jamie Roberts on the crash ball. Cooper keeps it going right. Tom Shanklin. Kahui and Nono, the centres. It's been lost by Wales. Knock on. Well, it's a shame for Wales. Kaino at the end, blasting straight in from the side. Now watch this, all these players are beyond the 15 before the ball's thrown. Red. Tom Shanklin in possession and Ma Nonu rips it out. It's, it's not really a knock-on, is it? Well, no, it's, that's not a knock-on. You had a good attack, I understand. And I actually saw everything. Yeah. Yeah, good outcome, exactly. When you well, New Zealand out, couldn't. Sure attempting to do something. As long as you go for it. Yeah. Well, Richard McCaw's making a point. Go for it. And uh, I think he's probably right. Well, Wales couldn't. Oh, oh dear. Williams. Joe Calzaghi <laughs> has been on the pitch. Can Wales put any pressure on this New Zealand putting? They obviously won't Wait affect the fact that it will be fed into the second row, but can they disrupt it sufficiently to get after and chase the people who are going to clear the lines? Adam Jones on the near side in the Welsh front row. A chance to put pressure on the New Zealand scrum, it doesn't happen. Instead, it's Rodney Soyalo who comes away with the ball. Cowan kicks. Lieburn waits. Good tackle by Naomi Atiela to the prop on Wales' fullback. Stephen Jones. Shane Williams. Oh, beautiful footwork by Shane Williams. Still going through Jamie Roberts. Tom Shanklin had overrun. Shane Williams gets back. And Wales get their second penalty. New Zealand preventing release. Well, there, Jonathan Kaplan saying. Uh, Saying not letting go of the tackle player. What a sublime break by the little guy, Shane Williams. Danced around, stood him up. Kalzagi there. <laughs> well, what a fantastic boxer he is. Let's leave this. Martin Williams still in the wars, getting an ice pack on that eye. Trying to keep his composure down at ground level. Stephen Jones, difficult kick, wide out. <laughs> difficult kick, beautifully struck, Wales 6-0 in the lead. Well, this lead is deserved, fully deserved, because Wales have been inventive, they've been getting quick ball. And this, a slip there, and Shane Williams is quick enough to make the break, get over the gain line. And from there, well, actually, from the next one was a resultant penalty. And one thing that Stephen Jones does is keeps the board going forward when they have opportunities, and that's vital for Wales. 
Well, still, well, they do now. They get the ball from the kickoff, but Shane Williams can't control it. New Zealand, that's the second time they've gone to that side, and the second time they've uh, won the line out. There you are, head to cheek. That's where it came from, but he's a hard man. Won't bother him. What would bother Wales or should bother them is that the second kickoff going right, they've not counted. They've not had as many men, or as many four tall forwards as uh, the All Blacks, and they need to uh, pay attention. Ali Williams wins the line out for New Zealand. Brad Thorne into midfield. Ryan Jones couldn't bring him down. Thorne still going. Good clear out by the New Zealand folders. forwards. Jerome Kaino again makes that extra half yard. Carter, Jamie Roberts and Ryan Jones this time wrap up the points machine. Woodcock tackled by opposite number at the set piece, Adam Jones. Cowan, Thorne again. Lee Byrne, strong tackle. Oh, it wasn't Lee Byrne, it's Jamie Roberts. And Roberts is dazed. Sivivatu got through Geffen Jenkins. Ma Nonu. Cowan tackled by Andy Powell. Get into you. Advantage. Advantage, New Zealand. Ma Nonu. Advantage, six straight down. Hang on. Penalty against Ryan Jones for going down. Well, that wasn't... Well, it was Martin yeah. Williams, actually. And a pity for Wales, because um, they covered well in making the tackles. The game, there'll be no talking. About 13 of your players are talking. Have a word, get a grip. No. 13 of the players. I just had a word to them about it. I don't want it. Well, it's obvious there, you just have to leave yeah, those I'm balls alone. Whatever, whether you think that's in or out, and whether it is technically in or out, the referee is going to ping you there. And when you are in front of your own post, it's not worth taking the chance. Wales were not comfortably defending, but they were defending. And the old immutable in rugby, you cannot defend a penalty. Dan Carter missed his first two kicks in Dublin. Not here in Cardiff, New Zealand. Their first points on the board, Wales leads six points to three. Just over 17 minutes gone, and it's a cracker so far. Really thoroughly enjoyed it, it's a great atmosphere here. Are you enjoying it, Jonathan? Entry. Well, I, uh, yeah, it's just, um, as, as Brian said, you know, they're just um, soaking everything up at the moment, Wales, and they can't afford to do that, it'll eventually break, and uh, Brian was right about the ruck. You know, they, they can't commit too many people to the ruck because they will exploit it out wide. Richie McCaw with the restart. This is Mills Muliaina, fullback. Carter off his wrong foot. Andy Powell, oh, that's his right foot, and that's not bad. That'll land just outside the 22. Well taken by Sivivatu. This is the danger now. Well done, Gary.